Lura fil-program il-sin il-nisa u vera il-sin il-nisa xistan tfajna ħames nisa u għara min ikellimna donnu l-l-qawmana li Lisa Grek li għal-mistidna il-li għanna maħna l-lumsa nitkellmu ftid bil-inglisa li x-lisa ija mizzewġa Malti għalek Grek imma ija ingliza fil-fatti ja ija tajx Malta ma ftid mux xazin u jina kontit għajt maħħa f diversi intervisti li ġi li kellna għabel pero il-lum mod partikolari ħad pjaċir il-li uħanihu gost li nitkellem maħħa dwar xaħġa il-li bdiet fl-2011 ftid sninilu il-Malta Artisans Market u il-mistoqsijiet li ħana mnula u ma pjot tost Anka b-kurzi ta, li għonet il-fatt li tara marra barra nija għad id-daqs tant interess fil-prodot malti, lokali malti, tant il-li mux bist ixtrih, imma il-li għati promovih u kreat dawn il-market il-li tool is-snin kienem fil-fatt minnom 14 sa issa, taħu ħafna lok lil-nis maltin il-li jamlu craft, jamlu prodotti tal-ikel, umma artisti, il-li kunu jistaw mux bis jese biċu x-xol taħom imma jibijaw x-xol taħom. U naf il-li ħafna maltin u kol ħadu pjaċi jiran kif laħar Christmas market il-li kienem. So, Lisa, welcome and thank you for being with us. Thank you. I'm sure you understood what I was saying. Yes, pretty much, yeah. Obviously, the Malta artisans market is is really now growing and yeah. and that is thanks to your hard work and all the people that have um, been contributing to this but mm -hmm. how did the idea come about for you to set up this market um, well it was a, some years ago that I the seed was planted having traveled extensively um, I often visited markets abroad um, I'd love to go to markets and um, check out the local artisan foods um, and arts and crafts and I suppose it really stems also from the fact that um, I, I published the definitively good guide to restaurants so I have a love of food um, and I felt that it would be lovely and be great if, if Malta had a place where you could go and taste artisan food products, local mm -hmm. artisan food products. There are lots and lots of different artisan food products in Malta but there was not one place you could go and taste them, meet the producers themselves and potentially buy them to take home That's and right. to cook and to use. So it's, it stemmed from that originally to encourage artists and producers to come together, but then also the arts and the crafts. Again, where in water can you go and buy authentic arts and crafts? Mm -hmm. So how do you choose the location mm -hmm. of where you put the market? And uh -huh. Well, um, the, the, the first market we had, which was four years ago, I chose um, a place, the love of my heart um, is um, Birugu. I live in Birugu. Um, and so I, I felt that that was a great um, place to start. And so we had the first market at Coover Report, um, which was a great setting for it. It was a beautiful setting. And so from then, we've now taken it to various other beautiful settings around Malta. So we've been to Senglia, Calcara, we've, we've, we've worked the three cities, we've chosen different palazzos, and we get now invited to, to beautiful um, venues as well. So, Very and good. how do you choose the producers and the artists and the craftspeople who participate in the market? Yeah, well, that's an interesting question. I mean, originally, it was quite difficult to find these people. I mean, we would, I, I would literally knock on people's doors and ring them up and say, would you like to take part in a market? And invariably, they hadn't ever taken part in a market. Um, so it was a matter of trying to encourage them to have a go and to try and sell their products. So we have certain criteria. We've actually set certain criteria that they have to tick the boxes okay. for. Um, so as much as possible, we, we are able to ascertain that they are authentic products and that they're locally made and as much as possible using local produce if it's food. Okay. Um, so there are various criteria that we encourage mm -hmm. the artisans to, to stick by. Most probably mm -hmm. they contact you themselves. They nowadays. contact <laughs> themselves, invariably they're a bit wary. They're like, you know, do you think I can sell? You know, mm -hmm. and we, we encourage them if they've got any, we sort of a sort of mentoring scenario really. Um, there, there's a quite a lot of bureaucracy invariably for, um, certainly for food producers. Um, you know, whether it's VAT, whether it's do I need this license, what, and so we, we help, we hold their hand to a certain extent to assist them and encourage them to come on board to the market. So I'm curious to know, how was the experience from the first one you've organised yes. and the, the other 14 you've organised? Yes, well, it's been an interesting journey. <laughs> um, the original one, it was, it was tough to, you know, there was a lot of work involved to get it organised. There's so much 
logistics from organising one event to another. Yeah. So we have to have so many permissions and, and such like, and it's, it's, it's literally taking one event and organising it in a different venue each time. So, and every venue has different setups. So you have to work with that. And do they have running waters? How's the electricity? What's the system, you know, where are they going to park? All the various details on, on that level. But as we've gone along, we've got the, the systems are all in place. We've got a good team of people working on the market. So it's, every time we have a, an event, it's improved. Mm -hmm. in, Is there a time when you say, what am I doing? Invariably. <laughs> <laughs> <Fair enough. laughs> that happens a lot. <laughs> well, we're talking about Malta Artisans Market. I'd like to bring it to your attention because if people would like to visit the website, it's www.maltaartisans, so there will be a double A, market.com. Um, uh, iġibili min jixti għanka jidħol fil-sit elettroniku jikun jafdu għal xiċet nitkellmu il-sit elettroniku għa www.multaartisansmarket.com I have a question for you. Yes. <laughs> what kind of people are attracted towards these markets? And perhaps is there room to attract more people towards them? Yes, um, we've seen, um, we're increasing storeholders from, from one market to another. So the, the last market we had was the, we had a, sort of 80 storeholders, which is, oh, wow. you know, a significant increase from when we started, which was around 40. Um, and we're getting inquiries all the time. So we have to try and create a variety in the market. So we don't want just jewellers, for example. So it's, all, so so it's we always have the to, same people. There's a, there's a change, actually. With more people are obviously know more about the market now, so they're, in, they're, they're coming to us and saying, could we participate? Um, one of the interesting things is we get a, um, there's a lot of women who, um, who've... Um, appeared, um, that, you know, whether they've been doing a hobby many for, for mainly for many many years and they're actually very talented or something, but they haven't had the courage or they haven't had the they haven't got the expense the, the, the finance, finance, or finance to set well. up a, a retail outlet mm -hmm. necessarily. So this is a really good experimental platform for them to see if their product will sell in the first place. It's a, it's a form of micro entrepreneurship and the, and they effectively can move on to opening up a shop once they see that the product's selling and um, that's the whole idea is to encourage them on that level. On the other hand, when it comes to the, not the audience, the, the people that come to buy, yes. first of all, how do you go about marketing it and, and how do you attract the crowds? Is it to locals that you market? Is it to tourists? Mm -hmm. It's a, it's a combination of both. I mean, we have a, a very good local audience, local clients that come to every market. They know the market. They know they're going to get to see good quality artisan products. They'll come back and purchase. Um, but it's also um, great for tourists. It's, it's a place where they can come and they can meet. What's great is that the producer has to be, the artisan has to be on the store. So the, so the client can meet the artist and they can discuss their product, they can, say, they can ask them questions about it. They can then go to their studio if they wish after. So they can travel to Dingley or to another part of the island to go and see them at, at work in their studio or on their farm, depending on what they're selling. Yes. So it's brilliant for tourism. It's a, it's a form of cultural tourism, in effect. Mm -hmm. For sure. Um, when you go abroad, you know, it's always wonderful to be able to meet local people you have you feel as though you've had more of an experience mm -hmm. it's the same with this you know you go to the market and you can actually the whole idea is we create an experience a social hub so that it's a, there's a social atmosphere it's family friendly we allow people to eat there and to, to, to socialize they can chat to the producer they can spend a day there and the to, and the tourists love it of course and this happens how often uh -huh. in a year mm -hmm. Well, we started off, you know, we had a, a th three or four in the year. Now we, uh, my plan is to have it on a monthly basis. Um, this year we've probably got the biggest lineup so far. Um, we plan to have it on, on starting, starting from the Easter market, uh, which the I'm allowed to say is the 21st Easter? and the 22nd of March at the Phoenicia Ballroom. Okay. Okay. So we've just launched those dates. And then we're going to have one in April. We've got another one lined up at Palazzo di Piero in Imdina in May. And the products so change vary from one, to yes. one month to the yes. other? I mean, there are def definitely art um, storeholders that come from one market to another. There are definitely that. But then we always try and find new ones as well. And we're getting so many inquiries, actually. It's mm -hmm. really good It's now. a good, yeah. it's a good. Ex I mean, mm -hmm. where do you stop when it comes to being creative? I mean, you can do food, you can do clothes, you can do painting, you can do jewelry, Absolutely. you can do cards. Mm -hmm. In Completely. fact, you have someone who does their yeah. own cards. We have a lady Where who does you... stones, beautiful paintings on stones. It could be paintings. We have people who do prints, and they've got a lovely lady who makes lovely handbags. 
um, obviously there's lots of jewellery, um, stores. Lisa, you never stop being creative as well. <laughs> I'm sure you have something planned for <laughs> after <laughs> you, you, you're done with this, with this artisan market. <laughs> Am I <Probably>. right? <laughs> <laughs> as a woman, obviously we have to ask you this, que this yeah, question yeah, because yeah. often, most often we get inspired as well. But as a woman, how do you manage your time between family, you know, and everything it's, it's, that you... it's, it's a tough call, isn't it? Yes. <laughs> As we all know. It is. Um, there are ups and downs with it. I mean, I'm very fortunate to have a, have a good support system. I've managed to try as much as possible to create a good support system. Um, my partner is very supportive of what I'm doing. Mm -hmm. My father's been always very supportive. And I have a good team um, with me working. I mean, I wouldn't be able to do this without them, if I'm honest. I mean, they're so, they're so, they work so hard and we work so well as a team. We are mainly ladies. <laughs> but that's not Probably that, that's mothers not as well, because mothers. absolutely when all mothers. When I interviewed her, she was pregnant, so... Uh -huh, yeah, <laughs> totally all mothers, yeah. yes. And um, I have an eight-year-old and a two-year-old now as well. So, um, <laughs> you know, so it's juggling mm -hmm. that as well. And the school runs and all the after-school activities. So it's, it's just being incredibly organised and, and having managing the support network. Time. Yeah, mm -hmm. managing your time really, really well and just mm -hmm. but it's being a female at the end of the day. Yes, yes. 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 That's, asking. that's what we're good at. Right? <laughs> that's what we're good at. Thank you asking. Very good, very good. Thank yeah. you very much for being here. I really, thank you, ladies. I really thank encourage you. everyone yeah, who was you. watching us to, to uh, log on to your website, take note of those dates that you just mentioned, um, the 22nd. 21st and 22nd, it's two days. Very good, Phoenicia. of March. Of March, Very yeah. good. Now, because I know that uh, you appreciate as well culture uh, as a gift we have for you today and we're going to uh, send you an email with the details we're going to uh, send you to St. James Cavalier there's a special screening of the Crucible okay. which was um, it, this was a performance at the Old Vic yeah. um, of which we are going to see a part we're um, going to part of play at the Old Vic Theatre the main actor is Richard Armitage who is forced to play from Lord of the Rings um, The Crucible of Artel Miller will be in the cinema the first time is sitta ta' frar u 19 ta' frar ġewwa l-Cavalier ta' San Giacbo din hija performance u fil-fatt waħda mill-atturi illi hemm fih hija Maltija Mara ma Corlett hija eh, tfajla illi sa tkun qed tqum mis-sodda għaliex kif tarawh hija intensa ħafna bħala play imma l-min japprezza eh, dan it-tip ta' teatru żgur sa jieħu pjaċir jara fiċ-ċinema lokali ehm, Ia, ia, vera, vera drammatica, però ia wahda minn dawk il-place il, il li um, tista tajt prestigiusi ħafna anka li wieħet ikun ra imqar darba fħajtu. The Crucible ta' Arthur Miller se tittella ġewa l-Cavalli ta' San Giacbo. Arraw flimkien. Betty! Wake up now! It's Abigail! I'll be too, Betty! Ma, you seem improving. I talked to your papa. I told him everything. So there's nothing to... I want my mama. What ails you, Betty? Your mama's dead and buried. I'll fly to mama. Let him die! Everything! He knows now. He knows <laughs> you drank blood of it. You didn't tell him that. You never say that again. You never say that again. You did. You did. You drank a charm to kill John Proctor's wife. You drank a charm to kill Goody Proctor. Sorry. No! <laughs> 